All right, welcome to D's Games. Um, today we're gonna be going over Armor Core Six Fires of Rubicon. Now, this game right here, I've been kind of skeptical. When I say skeptical, I'm not in a bad way, but it's really kind of been on my wish list to get this game. When I said first saw a gameplay trailer of this game, I was like, okay, now these are some good graphics. Now, me, I'm a big Transformer fan, robot fan. The last game that this game is kind of bringing to mind up a little bit is Titanfall 2. With the whole mech on mech battle action going on. And, you know, a little bit of Transformer Wolf of Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. You know, with the whole, you know, giant robot aspect to it. So, when I saw it. I was like, okay, this could be good. And then this before I looked into any other reviews or seen any other um, playthroughs of it besides the, you know, the announcement trailer for the video. I kind of went into it with a lot of, you know, uh, what this game, like, not what I think it is. What if it's just, you know, a, a cash grab on old PS2, you know, Armor Core games. I, the last Armor Core game I did play was on PlayStation 2. And back then as a child, I didn't really, you know. Armor Core is a very deep game, you know, mech building game. And I just was just going around blowing, shooting things up. I really wasn't focusing on the mission, things like that. One thing I like about this, like the story mode of it. Handler Walter. Hey, that's that old school classic, you know. Activating cerebral coral control device. Go A. Get the point B. Augmented human. Like simple. It's not a big open world. Now, if it'd been an open world game, it would have been kind of cool. But it just is. It gives you, you know what I'm saying? Time to get to work. A direct mission. Go here, blow this up, go here, destroy this, end the mission, use points, upgrade your AC. And also, let me know in the comments, is this your first Armor Core game, or did you play some Armor Core 2 games back on the PlayStation 2? Because this is going to be a whole brand new experience for me. Is this a Death Star eye? Damn, now we died before the game even started. Nah, that's too weird. It's too weird for us to be dying. The game just started. But by the looks of it, like we crash landing on Rubicon. Let's see what this mech looking like. I ain't gonna lie, man. These graphics really on point, and I ain't saying nothing but smoke. Yeah, I gotta go and customize my giant big old style. So every time we booting up, get my rocket launchers, look around. I like how when you, if you actually like run into something, it'll actually, you know, do that damage. Cause you are in a like big mech by the way. So at this point, Okay, so we got a. Okay, so this bar at the bottom, I guess this uh, jetpack bar. Got a rifle. I guess I got a rocket pack on my right side. Okay, that's convenient. They should tell me how to work it now that I'm up here. Appreciate it. I 
I wonder what this would be like be like the movement speed or like that's not saying this is like a tutorial section and then you know in you in the field for the game and then you know the controls okay so I guess we're gonna go on, get into some action right quick ah I didn't game my position yeah let's go come on come on yeah so I guess this is the type of game where oh sh okay it giving me Gundam vibes now So I guess this type of game, you basically gonna go on a power trip because I just mowed them down like. Okay. Oh, okay, so they give you like a little on um, your strafing ability to dodge any coming attacks. I already know this game online is something serious, especially with, you know, experienced armor core players. Now they'll probably man, destroy me. I gotta get good at this. I like the I like the jet system that they got with it. Like this feel real good. It's not, you know, I can't not control my my AC. He's like smooth, like he's really just skating around the map. And just shooting people doing heavy damage. I gotta get this jet system down. And he out of there. Alright. So I think we go through here. Okay, okay, so this is how we get our health back up. Wham! I don't know, I ain't gonna lie, I like this legit boost move right here, though. Ah, oh, damn, I'll go back there. I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna shoot off the thing manually. I really like the jet system, like how they move around. It's really kind of hard to explain. Like, you really gotta have a control in your hand to understand like what I'm really trying to convey and get y'all to understand but let me know in, if this y'all type of game where y'all pick up this game armor core fire Rubicon I think this is an Xbox exclusive only I could be wrong got some good nice transition cutscenes though So we start off with rocket launchers, machine gun, and we start off with an energy sword. So this is what they mainly after on Rubicon, this substance called coral. Kind of like a, you know, natural resource that Rubicon produced that's very, you know, in high demand. So you basically a mercenary trying to, you know, find coral and, you know, basically sell it to the highest bidder. Okay, so I wonder... Okay, you can double. Wham! Okay. Okay. Wham! I ain't gonna lie, that, that dash move live. I wanna do when I glide, do they take up stamina? So I gotta use my 
thrust just to make it over the gap. And we gonna make it regardless. So I uh, drop down. And you got okay. You got action. You got action. He gone. It's like the mobility is just all over the place. Like it's not, it's not hard to get. It's not hard to grab, but it's gonna take a little minute. But it feels natural at the same time. I wonder can I customize mine? Like I seen like a PC mod of one that did like Big O from the old Cartoon Network show. But you know PC they get all the good stuff. So, but if not, I'm just gonna probably you know probably do mine like the big Big O colors. So right now what we looking for? We looking for a license so we can officially stay on Rubicon as a mercenary because you gotta have a mercenary to be here so this is what we're going around looking for it right now I mean like the flying is smooth don't forget what yep and just how easy you take them down even though I know this kind of like the tutorial um, stage of it it just you feel that power damn So you can't do no one. His rank ain't no good. It's like it's a single burst type of gun. Might have me end up changing it. I'm gonna need something a little bit faster. Alright. Damn, just got on down on him. And I like the, the scenery. I like the, you know, the color palette of it. It's a lot of, you know, silvers and grays and blacks, so it's kind of like, you know, a dull environment. But you're moving around so fast, you're doing so much, and it. it's just like, you can't even just stop and like see the destruction, in my opinion. Bang sword is that? Let go. Alright, what we got up here? Alright, let's see, can we get our license from him? This one's already expired. Damn. I've picked up one more Rex 621. Transmitting marker. Go and go and check it out. Like they got good collision detection. Man, what if you can fly all the way up there? They'll be live. Okay, so you can. Okay. We gone. Bomb down. Wham! 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 There we go. Showtime. Wham! I'm really 
fucking with that thing, so I really got to break this thing. Let me know if you already started playing Armor Core. Let me know what type of loadout you get. Are you a are you a tank type? Are you more agile? Are you more range? Let me know some of y'all bills down in the comments. You can use that vertical catapult to get some altitude. Catapult. Here we go. Am I on it? Dodge while you in earth. Oh man, he's gonna suck in my head. Heal, heal, heal. You really gotta manage the um boost when you're at the bottom. Ooh, you get on my ass. I am out of here. Okay. I post went head first. It's like a goddamn uh, Dark Souls mech That's robot game. You gotta learn your opponent movements, attack patterns, and, it, and attack when it's, you know what I'm saying? Critical, because that man just rocket launcher the hell out of me. Where'd he come from? Okay, that's where he came from. Alright, let's go. Showtime. Do we right? Do we right? Got his way. Get the gun, get my gauge up. Get the shot, get his way. Dash too late. Well, not too late, too far back. Take cover! I'm trying to see if I use it. Ah, oh, nah, them bullets. Nah, them rockets. They ain't gonna find it. Come on, get a bomb, get a bomb. Mine, mine. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? No I gotta upgrade this gun right here. This, and this is just the first gap damn mission. Wham! Wham! I'm doing better than last time. Times the charm. Am I blowing my ass up? Try accessing the rack. Yeah, this like Dark Souls, like for real. But in robot form. Registration number RB23. Rank fits the bill. And I haven't Call seen any, you know, 
other mission gameplay. After this, this is my first, you know, experience into Armor 4. If any of the bosses like this right here, yeah, this is gonna be a good game. Wait, wait. I wanna do game like it would be good if it was co-op. You and two other, maybe on um, three other mates. Just on a bigger scale. Going against other, you know, high level, basically like doing raids together. It could be the same ball, same enemy. But this isn't so much like a loop drop game, so you wouldn't get the benefits of, you know, farming the same mission over and over. But from what I have heard about the multiplayer aspect of it, like the multiplayer scene is crazy. There's so many different fields, so many ACs out there that you can customize, create, and deal with. It's kind of, it's a lot of jumping to it. Come on. Remember what Ah, he blood. Yeah, it's a lot just going to it. Third time. I'm running when you saw me coming. Man, third time. Charm. Come here. Rocket launch. Come here. Third time. The charm. Sorry about that. Confirmed. Enemy combat helicopter is down. That's all for our work here today, 6621. So we got him up out of here. Here's, Here's the call sign that that license you picked up. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Yeah, I gotta go and add some color to him. This was a good, you know what I'm saying, a good first off, you know, tutorial mission getting you used to the controls, the gameplay style of it. A sublime substance. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, Coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return. To, to stoke the, the fire. fire. I can say, I like this part right here because it kind of reminds me of RB23. the big O Call sign Raven. when he's, you know, he did a long, you know, day of negotiating. He get back to the um, house and he have the butler, you know, he big up his maintenance of the day, repair system. battle damages and all that type of stuff. I like that. Welcome back, Raven. The look that it gives off. So next, I'm gonna see can I customize my Looks like big fella. Raven. That's who you are now. You're on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 61. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Your license Some is in a suspended time. state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand to benefit regardless. Okay, so I see how it go. Every mission you unlock, you get paid, and you use what you, with money that you get from the mission to unlock 
more customizable parts for your um, armor core unit. Or I, was, or I would like to say your Mega Deuce. Okay. So this will be working with right now. It's just the default prototype. Okay. So we ain't got nothing right now. We, you know, just gotta run it up right now. And there we go. Cause that gray just ain't getting it. Now I'm finna go on, I'm finna customize mine based off of Big O. So it's gonna be kind of like black, orangish, or yeah, I think Big O is kind of black, orangish around the head and you know the cockpit area. Yeah, I think that's about, yeah, uh-huh, that'll do. It's about the shade of, um, I don't know if it's like a dark orange or maybe a kind of a light brown, maybe. So basically everything, everything else besides the face and some components on the chest will be brown everything else is gonna be midnight black i may do some um gundam inspired armor cores on here let me know in the comments if y'all like to see that i don't know what some of the mods on this game looking like on pc right now Okay, so you can you you can color a lot. It's a lot of you know customization in this. So let me go and make that mad black. And I like how you still see like the scars and scrapes of battle. So yeah, that's a little bit too bright. So I'm just gonna roll with orange. No, I'm just gonna keep that black. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that part black. I'm trying to get that. And I won't be able to put like the direct centerpiece on because it's not kind of giving a look I want I know I won't get the the exact you know big O that I look that I really want but I'm just trying to get as close as I can to that color scheme and you can even change the color of the lights that's crazy black now nah, I'm gonna make them all bright keep them high beams on I wonder can you change the color of your gun as well or maybe it's just you know for your armor core only Why can't I just, you know, copy left arm is the same as right arm? But then maybe they'll just, you know, kind of make it bland on the customization part of it. Let me know some colors down in the comment. You'll um, have your um, AC look. I wonder will a lot of um, girls play this game. 
on will, will I be seeing some pink and purplish, you know, ACs on the battlefields in the near future. Man, I appreciate everybody, man, just rocking with me. I know it's been a while since I posted some content. I just really been in grind mode at work. The new year just came around. I had birthdays to, you know, do. It's just, hands been kind of busy, man. Been kind of, plate been kind of full. But moving forward, I'm just going to let y'all know in these games on. Y'all will not be neglected. Contents will be dropping. More armor for videos coming. More reaction videos coming. More live stream videos coming. Make sure y'all go follow me over at Twitch at KingCon217. Once again, KingCon, K I N G C O N 217. Over there at Twitch. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel if you made it this far in the video. Also, hit that share button. Smash. I mean, smash and destroy that like button. So they let me know y'all really, you know what I'm saying, vibing and y'all like these videos. And they let me know, okay, let me go and pump out some of these videos for my subscribers and give them what they want. But man, I'm telling y'all, 2024, these games on up. Podcast equipment already in the bag. Capture card already in the bag. It's going to be a wonderful year for these games, um, y'all. I appreciate everybody who, you know, stuck around with me this long. Been doing this since 2017, 24. Man, it's just over 250 plus subscribers, over 100 videos. Man, I just appreciate everybody for, you know, what they doing until, you know, and that's the close. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to, you know, the AC Big O. So y'all make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe on the video, man. I'm going to end it on this note. More future content coming up soon. Until next time, you've been in these games on. Uh,